Hey guys, James here, back with another video. I have been away for quite a while, but um, I'm back again to present you with this product. This is the Gaming Plus Backpack by a company called System G. Um, as you can see here, it comes in this uh, vacuum sealed bag. Um, we do have an extra accessory. Now they're actually going to be launching their Kickstarter campaign on August the 8th. Um, and I'll put a link in the description straight away when that happens. But obviously now you can't access it. Um, so essentially System G reached out to me. They wanted to send this in early so that, you know, there's a, video, uh, a video overview out there um, before they launch that Kickstarter campaign. So here it is. I'm gonna walk through the backpack as I normally do. I've got my trusty uh, backpack scoring sheet version 2.1. Um, I figured that this is a better way of doing things, you know, um, actually having a concrete way of uh, rating the backpack rather than just giving a random kind of like five or four. This would be zero and this would be the max number. So for example, overall design, is it a zero, one, two, or three? And then the total score is at the end of number 27 and I'll give my uh, final kind of conclusions. Now, obviously this is a gaming backpack, so it's not designed to be for the average urban or the office goer. This is meant for gaming. They're kind of targeting all their layout towards gaming, but you can use it for other stuff. Hey guys, just giving you a heads up, this video is gonna be quite long. I'm gonna go through the bag in extreme detail, but if you do wanna just skip ahead to the summary and conclusions, you can look in the description below for the time code for that, and you can just go straight there uh, to hear my final thoughts if you don't wanna uh, watch the entire video. But really do appreciate uh, if you do stick around for the entire video, um, and yeah, it really gives you a, a good idea of what to expect from this product, and yeah, whether you guys should be buying it or not. Let's get into it, I'm excited to see what's inside. So let's go. Now usually uh, these kind of wrappings do have a, a slot to tear, but we don't have one, so I need to use my knife. Now they are um, a bit unsure about whether they're gonna stick with the vacuum sealing. Um, however, you know, I think it's a pretty good idea. It means that your backpack isn't uh, gonna be cosmetically damaged. It could be like, you know, I mean, it came in a box, but you know, shipping and stuff could play into it, but I think it's a pretty good idea. But hopefully, obviously it's gonna add to the costs. I'm actually really excited to get into this. Um, looking at the uh, initial photos they sent me, I really like the design. Wow, that is so interesting. Every immediate thoughts is that everything is so compact. Just look at that. And it's got a hard shell, which is great. Um, you know, it's good for stuff like your headphones where you don't want anything to you know, break them, especially if you don't have um, foldable ones like mine. <clears throat> wow, there's a lot in here. There is a lot in here. Wow, okay, I'm pretty excited to get into this. Go one by one. Now I will say, quick introduction, they do have two sizes. This is the 15 inch version. They do have a 17 inch version for 17 inch laptops, obviously. So this is 15, I have a 15 inch laptop, perfect for me, but they do have a bigger one. So it does come with a few things. So let me, let me just kind of take everything out first. Now, straight off the bat, um, this bag, no matter which version you get, the 15 inch or 17 inch, you're gonna get these two accessories with it. So you're gonna get this, which is like a cable organizer bag. So if you've got a few cables, just chuck them in there and it'll be good. This is kind of like a travel organizer bag. Now, it, this is where it confuses me a little bit because they're targeting gamers, right? So I feel like when you're targeting gamers and you have gaming backpack, I feel like you should be going all out in trying to do everything well for like gaming. So I go to LAN parties at least four times a year. And you know, I really want a backpack that I can just take. Cause usually I have to carry boxes and, and tubs to carry all my extra stuff. But you know, I really wanted a backpack that will say, yeah, I, I can just bring the backpack. That's all I need to bring. Why do I need a toiletries bag or a travel bag when I'm bringing a gaming bag? So I know they're trying to hit more markets and I know that's what they want to do. However, my personal opinion is that, you know, if you want to aim for a specific market, you're going to put gaming bag on the title then I think you should just keep focus purely on just gaming but it's here so let's check it out maybe I'll just go through these accessories first before I touch the bag so the cool thing is um, again like most toiletries bag one, one thing I can think of is let's just say you do some editing and you need to go to some business trips and you know you need to carry around you know a few like a keyboard and, and all this other extra stuff this might be a good bag for you, um, but anyway, you can uh, hang this, for example, in the in the closet, like so. You 
take this latch off. By the way, this is metal, it's not plastic. You can see there, it's nice. Um, you essentially hook that there and yeah, you can hang all your stuff. So whatever toiletries or whatever other kind of shampoo stuff, you can put that in the bathroom as well. It does have this nice design and texturing. This is the waterproof style uh, material or water resistant. I would say it's quite waterproof. I, I'd say obviously the back is not it's got this mesh so you can put uh, loose clothing items or whatever stuff you want to put in there which is pretty awesome and you have these two pouches velcro pouches not magnetic so this is the uh, travel organizer now you also get this cable patch uh, pouch this velcro style is quite similar to what you find in um, the uh, click pack pro bag so it's got this new kind of generation Velcro where it just needs to attach to any sort of fabric and it doesn't have that really rough um, kind of standard Velcro stuff. I don't know, I think they still could have left it free as like a pencil case style. I don't really feel they needed that, but we'll see. So whatever, if you have USB dongles, cable or charging accessories that you need, you can chuck them in here and you'll be good to go. So these two come with it. Now another thing which you can get as an optional accessory, um, this little strap is not the final version. They do have a nicer looking strap that holds uh, this and I'll show a picture of that right now. But this is an optional gaming pad. So obviously matches with the overall design. It is quite wide, definitely enough room to stick, um, you know, a keyboard and a mouse. However, first thing I notice, is that bent slightly? It looks like it's curving up. I know the, I know my lens may distort a little bit, but even from looking at it, it does distort it a little bit. Could be just because of the shipping. I'm not sure if that's a manufacturing thing, but the, the material, I, I quite like actually, um, very good grip on the bottom side and the perfect thing, I loved how it's uh, stitched on the edges. That's really important for me because I had one that didn't have stitch on the edges and just frayed like crazy. This is good, I like this. I currently already have a gaming pad, but you know, I might just bring this for my LAN parties rather than having to keep taking the one that I've got. So that's pretty cool. So this is an optional accessory. I currently don't know the prices, but when that Kickstarter campaign launches, uh, you can have a look at those prices. So um, we'll put this aside, we may come back to this later. So those are the accessories uh, for this bag. Okay, so this is the bag. It does look quite small, but I think it's a standard size backpack. Um, it's just that everything is so compact, especially with that hard shell. So we'll see how it goes. Now, let me say straight off the bat, this is uh, not a full production model. And so there are things which, which they do want to change. So they have actually given me a list. So before I even begin to look at the backpack, I'm going to say what those things are, just so that you can uh, know going into this review, what is going to change. Now, first thing they said that the front safety panel material is easy to get scratched and will therefore use uh, the same thick uh, material as the side pocket. Now, there is a side pocket here, but it seems that it's the same material, unless they're talking about this hard shell, which I don't think is that easily scratched. I'm not sure what they're talking about. I don't know if it's the reflective design, could be. Um, maybe that's why. Okay, now the cool thing is, you see uh, these sides, um, they've identified that um, these kind of, these are RFID pouches. However, they, they've kind of said that, yeah, this doesn't really hug that well, especially if you're quite big size and it's the 15 inch. The 17 inch, I think because it's a bit wider, um, it is able to hug better, but they've identified that, yeah, the, the, the hugging of this is a little bit awkward, especially if you're a bit bigger. Um, so they're gonna try to fix that. They've identified that these shoulder strips uh, can easily slip away, which tends to happen with this kind of material. I'll come to that uh, when I get there. So they're gonna try to rectify, um, yeah, the shoulder strap issue. Uh, the last thing is that they said that the uh, side handle here, that the seaming, uh, so essentially the stitching um, strength needs to be improved without changing the design. So those are the four things which they sent to me. So I think those are good improvements. I can think of a few things uh, else to improve, but I'll list that in my video. So big bag, a lot of things to go to. Let's get started and I'm interested to see how we go. First thing on our list, overall design and quality. I love how it's compact. That's that's what I love. I love its compactness and how it still looks good because you do have bags that can fit a lot of stuff, but it just gets so thick and it just gets so ugly. Whereas this one, no matter how much you use, this is the size that you're going to get. Now, obviously that does limit how much you can put in this bag, um, but I love that. I love the hard shell. That's great. I love that design. Uh, I love how all the, um, the colors, it all matches. I love that kind of 
dark gray tone. This black does put me off a little bit, um, how everything is dark gray, you know, silver has that accent, and then suddenly it's black, that would be my question. But they do have that on both sides. On the back, they've got this uh, redness. I'm not sure if that also adds, whether they should have just put like a darker gray again. I'm just trying to think of how they can match the overall design to be the same. Now, something which they also do have, I'm not sure if you can see it, um, it's the reflective logo. So there's one at the front um, here, and it's this kind of purplish blue slash pink. It's a gradient. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe they could have just done like a design that was just silver. I I'm just not a big fan of that color. I think it might stick out too much. That's just my personal opinion. You might love it and that's great. These kind of things are personal opinions, I, I would say, color. But I think this at least should have gone with the overall design. Um, and the same with this black section as well. Um, just to blend in with the bag a bit better. That's my take on that. With the quality, first thing I can see metal buckles so these two are metal buckles these two at the bottom are metal buckles every single buckle is metal um, which is amazing and fantastic and shows how good quality it is it means it's not going to break um, that easily especially if you're going to be using it a lot so for example uh, making sure that you want to make it as tight as possible so you're going to lock this down you're going to loop that in here and that's not gonna break. That's, that means that it's gonna be there for a very long time and having it metal just means it's nice and smooth to then lock that into place. I love that. Next thing, zips, unfortunately, not metal. First thing I can think of is that middle section, these two might split in half and there's gonna be a crack right down that middle bit. Um, that's my main concern. Since they went with the metal buckles, I, sh I would have thought that it's only natural to go with the metal zips. However, they've chosen not to do that. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not good quality. You could have just opted to do like, you know, really dodgy zips, just like the normal zips, but um, at least they have a design and flair to them, which is nice. This top zips, these two, you can see, um, have that weather sealing kind of water protection seal on it. Obviously this back section, that's gonna be housing your laptop. You want that to be completely wet free, but uh, it does have a good seal uh, on this side and this side as well. So um, although it doesn't have that weather seal, I think that's pretty good um, for me. The material does look kind of anti-cut stuff. I'm gonna do a slight cut maybe on the side here. It's all the same material. You can see how hard I'm, I'm scratching that. Now if you do poke it, it will penetrate. Um, I'm putting my finger through this and I can feel a certain sharpness to it. So if you do probably stab at it, on, on this material anyway, it probably will penetrate. This one, I'm not sure. This one is hard shell, so I reckon if they really go for it, it probably will. It really depends on what material that is, whether it's plastic or not, um, or like a thick cardboard. Plastic, uh, unlikely to penetrate, which could be, but I love how it is quite scratch resistant. This would give me cuts on my fingers if I was to do this on my... That's pretty good. I like that, I'm happy with that material. When I look at this bag, I do think it's good quality. I do think it's well built. I do think the design is quite good. Um, it's quite new, it's quite edgy, um, and it does have that gamer kind of feel. You know, as a gamer, you're not gonna be embarrassed carrying this bag around. It looks modern, it looks stylish, um, it, and it just looks, it looks good. I just don't really like how the color scheme is a little disjointed with um, the blacks and even these orange accents and the uh, red kind of accent on behind here. Here. And that's my kind of gripe, maybe a less reflective on the straps here, but I mean, that's just nitpicking. I think the design is really nice. Um, I love how it's formed shell, but it's flexible at the same time. So when it comes to grading this, it's definitely not on this side. Is it a revolutionary? Is it a pretty good? Okay, if, if they used metal zips, I would have no issues with giving it revolutionary. But because of that, because of the little kind of design mishaps for me personally, I'm just gonna give it a, a shy of a three. That is so close though. That is so close to revolutionary. So that's my first score uh, for overall design and quality. All right, next up we have weight. All right, so I have a digital scale here. I'm just gonna weigh. Okay, so let's just add these uh, two to the, to the mix since uh, it's designed to do that. So with all of that added in, uh, what is the weight? 2.03 kg 
or 4.47 pounds. That is by no means a light backpack, I'll say that. Now without the uh, cable organizer and the travel organizer, this is 1.79 kilograms. Much kind of easier to digest that number than to two kilograms. So I'm just thinking whether the travel organizer is worth bringing. Uh, probably to a LAN party? No. So the cable organizer, yes, I think that's value because you can just stick a lot of just loose cables and, and just have it in the pouch, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I would say weight 1.79 or if you round to 1.8 kilograms, it's not bad. Um, it's hard to decide because of how much features and stuff it is. However, I'd say it's just, a, it's just a, a tad on the heavy side. I might change this later, but I'm just gonna give it uh, just shy of normal. Uh, because I can see what they're trying to do. However, you gotta think about it, gaming equipment ain't light. You're thinking about that 15 or 17 inch laptop, you're thinking about your power brick for your laptop, uh, a keyboard, you've got your mouse, you've got your headphones, uh, if you're bringing a power bank as well, uh, those are kind of your staples. If you're bringing network cables, all that extra stuff, that's gonna add more, more weight and it could end up weighing 10 kilograms in total. So having, you know, almost two kilograms of that weight part of the bag, even though it is lower than normal, um, I'm not too disappointed with that value though. So don't get me wrong. Um, I understand why they're doing it. And to me, it's it's okay. We'll see what the end product uh, when I load this thing up. All right, next thing is the strap quality, my favorite. We can see here, they've got this middle strap bit. Um, so this is to, uh, you know, lock here just for better grips. So for example, I was to put this around myself. Relatively easy-ish, sort of. The only thing is that I hate, I hate this extra kind of flap. That's why I don't like about it. Um, and they don't really have a spot to put it. Maybe if we double back, but then I don't know. So that's my only grab, this middle strap, but um, this is what it actually looks like. Uh, you can actually have a, have a feel. Now I can't really feel this bag at all. Obviously there's nothing in it, um, but yeah, this is the straps. The padding I could say could, could be better. Definitely isn't that soft. Now they are using again, this kind of seatbelt material uh, for these uh, straps. I think it's great how they're using metal. I would still prefer metal over plastic any day. I haven't had a plastic one break on me before, but I think metal is just streams quality. This part is plastic though, um, but it's cool how you can adjust it like that. That's pretty nice. I, I do like that idea how when you just adjust it yourself. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can't remove it though. That's the unfortunate thing. I like how it's very, very adjustable. We probably don't need to go all the way down, but that's how they've designed it. Seatbelt material, uh, they've got this interesting cross stitch as well here. So you can just buckle these if you don't want to use them. So you, you dip these and then you'd lock this in place. Is this what it's for? So like, for example, you didn't want that. And you're just going to tighten this up. Loop this strap back on. And that's completely out of the way. So that's an interesting thing as well. So you didn't want those side straps, you can just get rid of them. Um, they kind of solved their own problem. I don't know why they said that was an issue. Um, I think that's pretty cool how they have that option. That's actually really smart. Um, a good thing on the strap design of the straps. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this section, this bit here. Do they need it? Is it necessary? What's it for? I guess it is to keep it from going like this. Yeah, I'm not sure how, how whether I like the side wings or not, but straps, I think they're okay. But the uh, main thing is that this is gonna get heavy and these straps are just not thick enough. All right, so just uh, to get a th an idea of how thick these straps are, yeah, 10.8, 11 mils thick. Um, I think it's probably not enough. Yeah, there's just not enough padding. It's a little hard uh, for what it is. Oh, I noticed there's also red uh, in these straps as well. Top handle could have more padding as well. Uh, side handle, good padding. I love that. Uh, this is nice and squishy and foamy. Utilizing a, a side style handle for the top. That would have been nice. Um, so I'm not too happy with the straps. So objectively, I'll probably have to say that it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's not bad. Just a little bit not bad, um, but it's not good or pretty good. Anti-theft security, we kind of talked about that a little bit. By no means is there any locks, is the uh, zips hidden. That's not what they're going for. It is hard shell, so it does mean that it is harder to get into, uh, like slash your bag or whatever. However, I have to take into account that this is not the focus 
of the bag. Now it's pretty cool, they've got a few hidden kind of compartments. There's one zip here that's hidden. Um, you have these two uh, wings which have zips. There's also this bottom and top zip area. Oh, that's it's not really hidden. Side zip here as well, side zip here. There's a lot of side zips, um, but nothing too, you know, big and spectacular. Now something uh, which this bag also does feature, uh, which I just uh, found out, is that these zips are actually somewhat, in a way, anti-theft. So what System G claim is that, you know, you can loop these through, uh, and you kind of zip this down and it prevents people from uh, opening the zip. Um, however, like, I just wish they would lock a bit better. So for example, if this was like that and this was on someone's back, all I had to do is just do this and open it up. Like, it's not really that inconvenient. But I guess it does allow you, these rings, these D-rings are large enough for you to maybe hook, hook a, a padlock through that, which uh, could work, so. I would say, you know, they're not focusing on anti-theft security. I would say it's quite average, uh, but that's not a bad thing uh, for this bag. So, so just around there. All right, so one thing I forgot to add was exterior features. For some reason, I didn't put that there. So I'm actually gonna be adding uh, just another one here. So it's essentially, it's just a duplicate. This one has a lot of exterior features. Let's just start with the very front. So as you know, we've got these clips, uh, which help to really just bring the bag uh, from bulk to a, a nice kind of slim fit. Um, however, if you didn't want to use these, because it does prevent you from, you know, opening the zip, which is in a way somewhat anti-theft in itself, but it does mean it's an extra step that you have to do. We've got the front reflective design. That's part of the exterior features. We have the two kind of mesh elastic uh, drink bottle slash umbrella holder. We've got the side handle. Uh, which is nice and soft. At the top, you also have this holder, which is not that deep. It's only meant to put like your sunglasses um, or something. Not that, yeah, not that big. However, it is something that there, for example, if you didn't have sunglasses, you could put in like a power bank or something. Now on the sides, uh, you have a, quite a few side pockets. So you have this side pocket. So you can see my fingers don't fit all the way through. Don't go down there. It's just this small section here. So you can fit you know, some cables, some um, pens or pencils if you wanted to have them. Uh, just some small cords and stuff you can fit in there. On the other side, you also have the same. So this section here, uh, that's again, you can put whatever you want, uh, keys and stuff like that. You also have the side sections. These go all the way through. Yep, so essentially my hand comes out here and my hand also comes out here. So there's one that goes all the way through. That's kind of anti-theft. You can store like, yeah, documents. It only goes to about there. So it, it kind of captures this top section. Uh, and only, yeah, only stops about there. So right, right where the zip ends. Now you also have this unique thing where in this top section here, they actually advertise this section as like where you put your luggage. So you know how you have the luggage handles. You can just slip this like that. So these two straps come out and you can use this to carry your your gaming pad. There we go. You could carry it like that. It's kind of like a little, um, like when you go camping. But I like how you can zip this up, right? That means nothing comes out. And you can put like a folder or another sort of large flat item in here. So I like to carry around documents and stuff like that. So this section is gonna be great to do that. Um, can definitely fit A4 very easily. Oh, and I forgot about uh, these these straps. So they also have these straps to uh, hold hold these down. So again, it's somewhat anti-theft because they won't, when you have this down, they can't move this further. And so it, it gives them limited access. Yeah, it is a little bit of a pain to put these on, in my opinion, to, to make it work how it's supposed to work. That's that. You can probably hide these away um, if you didn't want to use them. So for example, if I didn't want to use these, I'll just kind of tuck them to the side here. I'll probably extend them longer so they so they weigh down a bit more into the actual bag. Oh, I just realized there's a handle on two sides. How did I not notice this? There's one handle on each side. I had no idea. I actually had no idea. How did I not see that? Now, of course, uh, as I briefly mentioned, these are pouches uh, on each side. Now, both of these, um, RFID. So for example, you can put some 
cards in here. You don't have to worry about uh, them getting swiped uh, for money. Yep, so only this side has this kind of lobster claw keychain. You can store things in here. Um, however, I probably wouldn't recommend putting anything in this because you'll probably very likely will fall out. But the option is there for you. In terms of exterior features, I think they've got a lot of stuff. Um, you've got the the two drink bottle holders, not just one. You've got the two handles, not just one. Um, you've got the two side zips, not just one. You've got the uh, the zip that goes all the way through and you've got the zip that goes all the way down that has this. I think this is probably the best feature for me uh, out of the exterior features. I think this is the really, really smart design. I don't know about you, but yeah, I don't really find that most people use it for the luggage holder. But the fact that they've added that zip to say, hey, if you didn't want to use it as a luggage holder, you can use it as this. And I'm definitely going to be using it um, to store larger things which can't fit in the bag or otherwise. Um, I love how there's all these smaller pockets on the sides. For example, with stuff like loose cables, if you are quite organized like me, I've got like a cable pouch and they even come with a cable pouch that I like to use. And so having these loose cables here, whether it's a good thing or not, um, that's up, up to you. That's how you use your bag and how you yeah, like to store your things, but it could, I can definitely see it working for other people. I think it's, I think it's really good. I'm just going to give it a really good, I, I wouldn't say it's amazing. Um, the only thing that is really fantastic is this bit. I, I'm just not blown away. Like they didn't do a bad job, but I'm just, I'm just not blown away. That's the initial impressions that I get. I'm not blown away, but they did a really good thing with this one. That's probably the best thing that they've done. So now we're going to go to interior features and space management. So that means we've got to open this guy up. Uh, let's open the back one first. It's, it's not a 180 degree open, which I like. System G, thank you for not doing a 180 open. I think 180 opens are really annoying um, and they just, I don't see the need for 180 open, like what for? So this is really, really good. So you've got this nice large uh, area where you can stick your laptops um, or in this section as well. I'll probably stick it right here. Um, you also have a spot where you can stick your tablet and a shallower pocket as well. I'll give you a better look there. A shallower pocket to put, you know, other stuff. So we're talking about, yeah, power bank cables, other, those smaller items. And, and we'll load this up and you guys can see uh, what you can use that for. Um, you do have these uh, kind of folding wings uh, or, I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know what you call it, but it's almost like webbing um, in a way that it doesn't allow it to go all the way, which is great. Um, because when you're carrying a big laptop and, you, and you're in public and stuff like that, or, you know, you just don't want your laptop to just completely fall over, which I hate about the 180 opens, but this one nails it really well. So I like that. The bottom has a little bit of padding. I won't be able to show you that, but there is a bit, there's like a, about this much, this much worth of padding. Um, at the very, very bottom, so your laptop will be protected. You've got the orange design, of course. Um, I guess that's their color scheme. I'm not a huge fan of the orange, but I also don't hate it. Now, going to this hard shell component, this is pretty much a 180 open, this section. So let's open this all the way up. Um, however, the cool thing is you have these clips which allow it to not be a 180 open. Have it like this. Right, and it's no longer a 180 open, and that's a great idea. I, I get why you would want this to be a 180 open because there's a lot that you want to fit into it. So, first thing I can say is these clips could be have made better. It, it's a bit tough to, for example, like I should be able to just grab my fingers, pinch that, and do that, but it's, it's a bit hard to do. Um, it's not that easy. So, you can see this is the section where uh, the sunglass holder uh, top section lives. Again, this section, um, quite thick, as you can see here, that you can definitely fit a decent amount of thickness into this section. You've got all these pockets, these side pockets here, it has this elastic, so if you have something that's a lot taller, you can uh, elastic that. They have, oh, this, you have this top zip section as well, which can store stuff, that's, that's nice, I do like that. And this is meant to, for example, hang your headphones. Um, so we'll definitely be trying that later as well. So everything closes up, hard shell, uh, it keeps its shape. It's really important, uh, especially if they're doing headphones, to, to have this hard shell. And they definitely did a good job with that. Now, on, also at the very, very front, we have this as well. We have this other kind of mesh, but yeah, you can put in your cable organizer. So let's just put this cable organizer back. 
So that one lives here. You have these small holes. I guess you can put SD cards and pens in here. And that's your front section. So I reckon this is yeah, all your cables and, and all that. That is pretty much it for the interior. I hope I covered everything. The best way to kind of check it out is to actually just load this guy up and, and see how well it does. It does look like it has heaps of pockets, which I love. I hate it when, you know, bags just only give you just one or two sections to put your stuff. Um, we definitely have a lot of room to play with in terms of getting things into this bag. So I think we're gonna have too much space or, or too much pockets to put stuff in. I'm gonna take a guess and say that they probably didn't anticipate you to use all the pockets at the same time, even though you probably can, but I would say that it's a, it's a, it's a wiser way to not anticipate everyone to use everything at the same time, but rather that you have the options to use whatever you want. So let's just say uh, they didn't have this section here and they just had it flat. That's okay, but it means that if I for some reason didn't have headphones and I wanted to you know, put something in here instead, like a hard drive or something, then I didn't have the option to do that. So it's not like I'm gonna be using this because you know your headphones are pretty thick, therefore you won't be able to use that. So it, I don't think you'll be able to use all the pockets at the same time, but it does give you flexibility. So I hope that makes sense. And I think that's what they're trying to go for and it will be smart for them to to do it that way anyway. So I'm just gonna start loading stuff into this bag and see how we go. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff on this tab table. I know it's not the prettiest layout. It's just a lot of stuff. So this is what I would typically bring to a gaming LAN party. We'll see how we go. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to fit everything together just because of the thickness and space, but we'll see, you know, I'm optimistic. So as always, best thing to start off with is you start off with the laptop. So let's get this guy in. What they recommend is you actually put the keyboard in this section because um, you can fit a, a normal size keyboard. Probably not with numerics. So the actual length of this is roughly 42. So you can definitely fit a 42 centimeter size keyboard. This is essentially my LAN party pack. Now, obviously we didn't fit this in. I probably can't fit this on the side either. So this just holds all my hard drives. Yeah, I can definitely find places to put all these items into here. However, I do like the idea of just carrying it as a pouch, um, but because of those headphones, those big ones, I can't fit it in. But if you had normal size headphones or if you're using earphones, easily you could fit this in, um, no problem. So, but that's just me. So this is the final bag, um, everything loaded up. So let's just get an idea on how much this thing actually weighs. It's about seven kilograms. So remember how I said that with all the accessories is about two, so it's like 1.8, so that's not too bad. Um, now that's without a full water bottle, so it'll be about 7.5, there's a 500 ml bottle. Um, so you will have to add that. Now if you are gonna put a mechanical keyboard, it is gonna add weight. So but definitely under 10 kg, I would say. Um, but that also depends on how heavy your laptop is. Mine's the Dell XPS 15, it's 50 inch laptop. It is quite lightweight, so you have to take that into account as well. One thing is I did notice that when I loaded this up, uh, the back, there's less space to put stuff. But um, just for the purpose of demonstration, you can put a folder that is thin enough behind here. Now, that's probably not gonna fall out, even though this is open. Yeah, even if I push it, it's not gonna come out. So, time to put it on. Yeah, they, as they said, that the straps are quite easily movable, which is true, so they're gonna fix that. It's quite compact, like it actually feels really compact. Obviously I'm missing the keyboard, missing the cooler pad, but at least there's more stuff that I can fit in, for example, than I would with my Corin design bag. The best thing I like about it is that it's hard shell and those headphones aren't gonna get damaged at all. And they definitely put a thought into that because they definitely wanted headphones to go in this section. So yeah, good job to them. 
I'm going to lock these wings to the side. Okay. Alright, so this is a view from the back, a side view, and then this front view. So you can't really tell, it's just like a normal backpack, and then from this side. So you can see the, yeah, you can kind of see everything now. So this is a typical LAN party configuration. What about a standard kind of day-to-day -day configuration? What do I bring and how would I use this on a day-to-day -day basis? So I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to load this up for a normal, everyday carry. So let's do that. All right, so this is what I typically carry with me every single day. Can this fit in this bag? Uh, definitely, I think so. So as always, start with the laptop. Now it is a bit tight in this section, uh, just because, yeah, I've got so many layers in here. But as I said, I want to have everything accessible at the same time. So like when I go to college, first thing I do, bring up my laptop, bring up my mouse, bring up my tablet, bring up my Bible. Those are the first three things that I do. And then, um, then later, so I just have to open that, grab my recorder out, maybe the power bank if I need it. Sorry, the, the, the power adapter, and then the cable is there. And any other stuff I need can be in there as well. Then finally, the bottle, which goes in here. And I love how it stands up right by itself. Like, not many bags will do that. But because it's got a flat surface, um, that's really, really nice. The bag will just stand up. I actually love that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's weigh this. It's a bit heavier. 7.57, which is definitely heavier than what I usually carry. So, as a comparison, this is what I normally use, the Corian Design uh, Click Pack Pro. This only weighs 1.12 kg. It's very light compared to this. This was weighing 1.7. You know, another 600 grams. It can fit more, and it does have a better kind of shell design. However, you're talking about every day, it's going to add 600 grams can be quite a bit. And it's a little bit more bulkier, I will say that. Um, it's definitely not a thin backpack. I mean, you're comparing these two, it's definitely thicker. 100%. So this is lightweight. It's not really designed for it. However, remember, we're talking LAN party, but we're talking about other use as well. So let's just quickly chuck this on. These straps definitely pull down very easily, but they said they're going to fix it. So it's all right. So hopefully they do fix that. It looks a bit weird because it feels a bit short um, compared to the Corin design. Maybe because it's just proportional wise. Like, yeah, same height, but it's a lot wider. So it feels like more of like a shell. So there you go, this is the bag. Up to you how you how you like the design or not. Um, it's a bit hard for me to tell because I'm wearing it. So I can kind of look into the monitors to see. Um, I would want it a bit higher actually. But as I said, it looks a bit weird how it's so large. It could be just my body type because I'm quite large size. Um, but even then it, it does quite look like a turtle shell. However, if you're going to a land party, man, no one cares. <laughs> Literally no one cares what you're wearing, um, as long as you play well. All right, so what are my thoughts? Interior features and space management. I'd say it's above, it's like in between really good and amazing because they have, remember I told you all about that flexibility. You have all those features there, not to use them at the same time, but as options. Um, it's kind of like, hey, this is, this is, how you can use it in, you know, combination A or combination B, combination C. I just want to put a disclaimer out there. The way that I am doing this, it's totally just up to my opinion. I know a lot of people give me flack in the Bobby video for bad space management, but this is just me. It's the stuff that I use and the stuff that, you know, I would use this backpack for. You, the way that you're going to use this backpack, that's totally up to you. You use it how you want to use it. But I'm just giving you an example of this is how I would use it using the stuff that I bring to college and stuff every single day and the stuff that I bring to LAN parties. So everyone is different. Everyone has their own kind of unique things that they bring and things that they don't bring. So um, just take that as a disclaimer. That's why I find that the Corian Design Clickback Pro works the best for me because that's how I would use that backpack. You know what I mean? But that's by no means a LAN party backpack. And so I can see that I'm definitely you know, we'll want to use this for those headphones because it's hard shell. The current design doesn't offer that. 
um, this one does. So every bag has its unique market and target audience that they're trying to reach. This, these people are mainly targeting gamers um, for LAN parties, and I can see why. It's, it's called the Gaming Plus Pro Backpack, so it's obviously meant for gaming. It's not ideally meant for everyday travelers, okay? But I feel like, yeah, the flexibility is there, it's great, so I gave it a three and a half out of four, as you can see here. Comfort, how is the comfort? I would say the comfort wasn't um, super comfortable, I would say it's quite above average, somewhere in that neighborhood. I wouldn't say it's good um, because it did feel a little bulky. So even though I wanted more padding in the straps, it wasn't that bad that it was like unbearable. So it's okay, you know, it's above average. So it did a pretty good job. Pricing, where does this pricing fit? Now, disclaimer again, this video was filmed before the launch of the Kickstarter program. So I don't know how much the Kickstarter is eventually gonna be, but from what, um, System G tells me is that um, it's going to be around $89 for the uh, early bird Kickstarter. So if you're the very first people to get this backpack, it's going to be $89 US dollars. It's going to come with the um, that cable pouch as well as the travel organizer. So those two are included. The other stuff are perks. So you have the camera pack. So you can stick like a DSLR camera in this middle section. Um, obviously, you can't fit a keyboard and headphones at the same time. Um, you just have to swap that out. It's kind of like a modular system. Uh, you also have a utility pack, which I'm assuming is there to fit like, you know, your, your hard drives and your other kind of, yeah, USB accessories, cables and all that stuff. And of course you have the mouse gaming pad, which we saw um, earlier. So those are the three things that are optional, but the, uh, the slim cable organizer, as well as the travel pack that comes with the bag itself. So 89 US dollars, that's for early bird. Now, Full retail hasn't also been confirmed, but they did tell me around 170 US dollars. So if we're gonna convert that to Australian dollars, it's gonna cost roughly, early burn, uh, 120 uh, Australian dollars. If we're gonna convert the 170 full price, retail price, it's gonna be roughly about 230 Australian dollars. So if we're just gonna talk Kickstarter, so now they are gonna be incremental. So early, early birds are 89 but then, you know, it's gonna increase and increase as you go along. So those are the prices. So you gotta ask, okay, is this worth the value? Now, of course, for 89 US dollars, it is totally worth it. Uh, why are you even thinking about it? Now, this is for 15 inch, by the way. 17 inch, they didn't give me the values for that. But as I said, because of the way that things have designed, um, you won't be able to fit that much stuff for a LAN party if you are going with the 15 inch. So you say, oh, I've only got a 15 inch laptop. Why do I need the 17 inch? Because the 17 inch is wider. It's gonna give you more thickness uh, and you're gonna fit more stuff. So if you have a thicker keyboard, if you've got thicker headphones, all that stuff is gonna play into a part. So I would recommend to just get the 17 inch one anyway, if you're using this a lot for LAN parties. So um, 15 inch, if you don't carry much stuff, you're like one of those guys that doesn't carry at all. You just use your laptop. Don't even bring a separate keyboard. Although you can fit another keyboard in here as long as it's one of those small, uh, small mechanical ones. But yeah, you're like really low key. You don't like to bring a lot of stuff. Then you go ahead and grab the 15 inch. But for me, I like to go big. Um, so I'm gra I would grab the 17 inch. But in terms of the value for the 15 inch, if we take the retail price of 170, to be honest, backpacks aren't cheap. Now, we, we kind of see the Kickstarter price and we say, oh, that's worth it because that's the lowest price that they'll sell it for. But that doesn't mean that that's the actual value that it's rated for. Now, a lot of backpacks, you just go to like, you go to like, for me, Myers or like David Jones, you're gonna pay about 200, $250 for those backpacks. For a backpack like this uh, with, you know, hard shell, with uh, scratch resistant, it is scratch resistant, you saw me cack at it, um, with all these features, with all these things in mind, for gamers especially, um, it's actually not too bad. Now, sure, you can go grab an MSI backpack, you know, from a computer store. The thing which really catches my eye is the headphone. Now, for me, I've got a laptop cooler, I've got a full-size keyboard, I'm gonna to have to carry all those extra stuff with me, but I fit most of the stuff in here Whereas my conventional Corian design backpack, which I carry every day can't fit that. So what is it? So if we just gonna take full retail 230 bucks Aussie for this backpack if they improve what they said they would improve especially the straps if they add a little bit more padding um, on these straps that would make it like mm, and, and the top handle as well. So I would say it's quite reasonably priced. Like the Corin Design Backpack, 
that ain't cheap, you know, um, especially the full retail. Of course, you know, it was cheap during the Kickstarter, but we're talking about, you know, we're going to compare retail with retail. So I would say that it is quite reasonably priced. I'd say just above, just above reasonably priced. That's my score. Now, what are the perks? Crowdfunding, unique perks. Um, so far, I don't know what those perks are. You can, as I said, you can, you can get those add-ons, but what are the Kickstarter unique stuff that only the Kickstarter customers are going to get? I don't know, so I'll just have to leave that out because they didn't tell me, um, or if they are going to have one. What are some deal breakers for me? I don't think there's anything like necessarily like that I would just say, no, don't get it. Again, I said these are little uh, loop things. I'm not a big fan of them um, because they always just get in the way. Just having some sort of way to, I don't know, yeah, not have that there, especially if you didn't want to use them. These ones aren't too bad. They don't really get in the way, but it's these ones when you open this up and, you know, it folds in on itself and you can't zip it up. It gets a little bit annoying. And also, same with the back ones. Like, I tend to not use that because I don't see a purpose of having the flap out there if you're not going to have a waist band to, to hold that backpack there. Though, yeah, you can put travel cards and stuff in there if you really wanted to. Having these straps come underneath, it's a little weird, but it's not a big deal. So it's things that are there and present, but not big things that I would say don't get it. So I would just say, you know, there's a few things. So I said these ones, the the straps and stuff like that. So I'll just say there's one. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, unique features. Oh, there's so many unique features. Hard shell case. The fact that there's so many different uh, pockets inside this section. We've got the, the travel organizer as well as the cable thingy and the back feature where you can put a folder. So I'd say at least two to three. Two to three unique features. Versatility of use. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this for? Um, this is a tough one. I think it's somewhat because it's, I would say it's just really two two uses so you can use it as lamp party which is exactly what they're targeting they're like let's go lamp party let's go full on right but they've also trying to make it available for those who you know want to use it every day so this isn't a backpack that you'll just buy just for lamp party like you can use it for you know day-to-day -day work and stuff like that however the design is a little bit funky um, so it depends where you're working. I was like, oh, you definitely won't be able to bring this to a professional uh, office. Um, but if you're just casually, you know, um, you bring your laptop and you bring a few other things to work. For example, you do some video editing or whatever that is, um, then this might be the one to bring, you know? So um, it is somewhat versatile. So gaming is the biggest one and secondary as in, you know, what I showed is the current configuration of bringing it to, you know, everyday student, college, whatever. So yeah, scoring that under somewhat. So one to two uses, um, I would say. So under the final conclusion, you can see there's different levels of recommendation. Would not recommend, average, good, pretty good, highly recommend, best bag in the world. So this video has been quite in depth um, and I know that, you know, I've covered a lot. Uh, so thank you for sticking all the way through. I really appreciate that. But as I, as with all my reviews, I love to go really in depth, really talk about it, really dissect the bag as much as I can so that you guys can make a better informed decision about whether you want to buy this bag or not. Um, again, yes, uh, System G did send this to me, but they didn't tell me what to say. These are purely my own thoughts and my own um, reviews of this uh, bag. And so going back through everything, I love the design. It's great. I love the colors. Again, you know, I was a little bit annoyed about how, you know, but this was nitpicky. Like I didn't like the color of the, the front, how it clashed with the, it was like this purplish. Um, the black, you know, didn't really suit the gray, but these are like small things. Um, the inside orange, you know, in, some people might like it. I personally don't like it, but it's not a big deal for me. I mean, that's personal preference. So I, didn't, I wasn't too much about that. So it, I thought it was quite revolutionary, you know, and the hard shell was good. The weight didn't let me down again. It was a little bit, um, a little bit on the heavy side, 1.7 kg. So um, definitely not on the light side, but it wasn't overly heavy as well. So two kilograms plus is like ridiculous. This was kind of just on the borderline. So it wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't on the little heavy side. Little heavy would be two kilograms plus. The straps, not too happy. As I said, you know, they're a little bit uh, thin for my liking. They didn't really, um, yeah, didn't really get my attention. I love it when companies just go super soft with the straps. Like I still think 
the best straps are these Corin designs. Um, some people have commented that they have started, theirs have started to fray, but uh, I just love the soft texture of it. Um, even though the thickness might be the same, it's just that these are just so flexible and they're just so soft. So uh, these are still by far the best straps that I found on a backpack. Um, so these did let me down a little bit. Anti-theft security, again, that hard shell, the scratch resistant material. I love that. Um, it's fantastic that they've put that in. Um, now, it does mean it's durable, but it also means that if someone does try to like just scratch or damage a bag, that they won't be able to do that that easily. Um, and the hard shell does protect all your stuff. You have the side pockets and, and stuff like that. So it did pretty above average, you know, for anti-theft security. Exterior features, I gave it um, a really good because a lot of pockets, a lot of stuff. And yeah, it's just definitely packing a lot of stuff into it. The interior features and space management. Yeah, I gave it a just above really good because of all those different configurable ways that you can make this bag. So you can use those pockets in the way that you want to use it. You don't have to use all of them at once, but you can just use it bit by bit. Yeah, the pricing, I thought it was reasonably, reasonably priced for, for what you actually get. Um, it's quite reasonable. They just got to fix that strap issue and it will be a good thing. If they don't fix the strap issue, then, you, then I'm really going to question whether you know you should buy this bag because that is a big issue but they did say they're going to fix that so you hold you guys as the backers hold them to that promise um and i'm sure they're going to do it because that's such a crucial element of the bag versatility of use again as i said you know it is only usable for gaming and the other things i can't really see it being used for anything else but as i said this is a gaming backpack so they're going to target them so hard and that's what it's for, you know? It's it's for gaming, really. But yeah, I would have maybe liked to see, uh, you know, a, a better way to carry a full-size keyboard because not everybody has small keyboards. So I don't know, thinking of a way to do that somehow. I love how they caught, they made that design with the gaming pad. I think that's a really good way of storing your gaming pad um, outside of the bag. It's quite unique, um, but everything else is pretty good. So what am I gonna recommend this? This is a tough one. So I'm gonna to try to be as succinct and as objective as I can. This is a great backpack. It's a backpack that is so unique um, in the market that I haven't really found anything like this before. We have seen a lot of these anti-theft backpacks, but no one has really made a gaming one um, that is suited for gamers um, that's especially crowdfunded. And I think this is a really good start. Um, it may not be what is the best end product, but you got to start somewhere. And these guys, System G, uh, shout out to them for really just um, making something that is definitely a good step forward. So there's a got, they've got some great ideas, but I reckon they still need to refine a few things and saying what is actually necessary and what is not necessary when it comes to a gaming backpack. I think they're trying to reach too many people with this, they're trying to say, oh, let's try to get two or three more versatility of use. But just, I reckon just focus on the gamers. Just go full focus on your one audience, which is your gamers, and make something that is irresistible for them. I would say this is pretty good. So I would say right here, it's pretty good. Um, it's not highly recommended um, because as I said, there's a few kinks they need to work out. Like some things are a little unnecessary. It's a little bit, um, yeah, stuff gets in the way but it's a great start and they're doing a really great job design looks amazing i love the colors as i said you know i can't get over the color scheme the hard shell such a great idea especially just for that front section like if they made everything hard shell bad idea but the front section is hard shell and the back is a separate section great idea i love the fact that the back can be used as a folder holder as well as you know the luggage thing if you're into those things so Great, great ideas going through System G. Um, a few things you can work on, but I think it's a great start. So if you guys, as the consumers, are looking for a gaming backpack, I would recommend the 17 inch uh, over the 15 inch. But if you just carry very lightweight stuff, you're only just carrying your laptop and maybe, you know, some ear pods or whatever, you're going really lightweight, then yeah, 15 inch can do for you. Um, but if you're going with, um, you know, bring a larger keyboard as well as larger headphones than and a thicker laptop you definitely want to go for the 17 inch even if you may only have a 15 inch laptop so that's my conclusion conclusion time to add everything up and see what we get 
All right, so I did my calculations. This bag is 19 out of 31, which is roughly about 60%, which actually matches uh, my overall score. So one, two, three, four, five. So if we take this from zero to five um, and we double that, that's about 60%. So 60% may seem like a low score. Just remember that this is the way that I score my backpacks and not many backpacks score high um, because I really put this through a really tough test. So to score 60% is actually pretty good. It's kind of like the average, if not above average, kind of score that you would get. Um, remember, I really drilled this hard. Um, I didn't go easy on this backpack at all. Some other reviewers might give it a little bit higher, but in terms of the way that I weight my backpacks, uh, it is in the average zone as well. So as I said, you know, it's a pretty good backpack. Um, it's not that it's bad, it's just, it's pretty good, you know? The score may seem low, but don't see in that it's a bad backpack at all. Again, one final look at the scoring sheet to show you roughly how I scored and weighted my things. So again, scored really high in overall quality design, interior and exterior features and space management. Um, and it's just that, it, the, you know, versatility of use let it down, but we know the reason why. We, the anti theft security also let it down, but we know the reason why. The comfort and straps also were a big one um, because yeah, I just didn't feel that comfortable. Um, but having said that, you know, these are the straps they can definitely improve on and the comfort they can definitely improve on as well. By no means a bad backpack. Done a really good job. Shout out to System G. Like, I can't say this enough. They are really pushing the envelope of backpacks for gamers. Um, you don't really see many backpacks designed for gamers and I just love it. Um, I again appreciate System G for reaching out to me to letting me review this, uh, you know, and not, you know, and, and, and kind of really putting themselves out there. Every time people put their bags on this channel, they really don't know what to expect. They don't have to expect a good review or a bad review. And I really co uh, commend you guys for just taking the plunge to, to have me review it because, you know, I'm known for, you know, being quite harsh um, on backpacks. But yeah, I, I wanna tell you guys the truth. I don't wanna just pamper things up. This is how I generally feel about the product. Now, will I be using it for my next LAN party? Probably yes. As my daily, uh, as my daily kind of bag, probably not. I don't think it can replace my Corin design, uh, just because when I did, you know, wear it, it looked a bit bulky. You know, having this section just pop out a little bit. Um, you know, if it was, if it didn't have this section and it was just flat, maybe. Um, but just because of a pure aesthetics thing, I don't want to draw too much attention when I go to college and stuff like that. But when you're in a LAN party, man, you want to go all out and you want to show off, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's my personal opinion. You may love the backpack and, you know, I suggest you go all for it. So those are my thoughts on this bag. Again, I'll leave link in the description of when this uh, Kickstarter is launched. But I hope you like this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any comments about this bag or about anything else. Yeah, and I'll try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for sticking around to the end and I will see you guys in the next one.